Hey y'all, welcome back with Talking With Ken J. And this is one of my motivational videos. As you guys know, every Sunday I post a motivational video just to get y'all day going, y'all day started. Something for y'all to just hold on to, to be like, okay, I'm good, I got this. So this week's motivational video is about not letting people mess with your mental. Okay? You need to understand that mental health is just as important as physical health. And what I mean by mental health, meaning not letting other people get inside your head, making you think less of yourself, making you think that you're not worthy, making you think that you don't deserve, and then manipulating your mind into doing things that they think you ought to do or things that they want you to do. Now, this is for friendships, partnerships, relationships, work, anything. This is an all-around gather of information that I've decided to give you about. If you've been in a relationship, I know I have, where somebody has done mess with your head, meaning that they have made you either feel like you're not beautiful, you're, you're not attractive, you're never enough, don't nobody want you but them, ain't nobody gonna ever want you but them, you're not worthy, you don't, you're not deserving of what you know in your heart that you feel that you are deserving of. That's that manipulation, and that's that, oh, that's that allowing someone to get into your mental space. Like I said, mental health is very important. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I went through a stage in my life where I felt I wasn't worthy, where I felt like I wasn't deserving of happiness, I wasn't deserving of peace, I wasn't deserving of motherhood, I wasn't deserving of all the extra pleasures of life because I... I've been through so many bad experiences and I felt like I didn't do anything to deserve the bad. So why would I get the good? If that's all I've been receiving is bad, that means good will never come my way. One thing I had to learn over time is that I had to stop conditioning myself to let people get in my mind and have me thinking that I'm not worthy. I'm not deserving. I'm not good enough. When I know for darn sure I am. I want people to understand that you have to take everything back that you feel that you've allowed people to take from you. Those are the things that make you who you are. Those are the things that make you keep going spiritually, emotionally, mentally, everything. Those are the things that we use to keep us in our day-to-day -day when we're going through life. Because life's a bitch. That's the God on the truth. Life ain't good. Some days you don't want to be fed up with it. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to succumb to all this actionness because it's so when we have people in our life, some people come and they snatch that from us. It could be a man or a woman telling us things about ourselves that we feel on in our in our inner. I know I'm not this person. I know I'm not this way. So why did this man or why did this girl keep telling me this? Why do they keep make, making me feel less than? Don't let people mess up your mental. Because when people take your mind, it's a wrap, bruh. When somebody has control over your mind, they're, they're controlling you, they're moving you, and you're doing everything based on their feelings, everything based on their emotions, everything based on how they want you to, and you're no longer in control of you. Don't give nobody that type of control. Don't relinquish your mind control over to somebody else. You have to say so over your life. You have to say so over your mind. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Condition yourself to the things that you need to grow. Keep those things in your life that, that helps your mental capabilities to be stronger, to become wiser, to become more understanding, more, more, more knowledgeable. Because these are the things of how we get through life. So we have to make sure that we, we, we keep this healthy. We have to make sure we don't allow people to play with our minds, to get in our head, make us feel less than, make us feel unworthy, make us feel undeserving. Because we are. We are going to get everything back the devil told us we're not supposed to have in 2019. That is my claim. That is my declaration. And that is my decree. So understand that mental health is just as important as physical health. Mental health gives you depression. Mental health gives you suicide ideations. Mental health make you feel like bad mental health. Make you feel like you're, you don't want to be here. You have no reason to live. There's no purpose for you. Find your purpose on this earth. Find what it is that you're supposed to do while you're here. Find it, define it, live it, and make it true. Live in it and then believe it. Let your light shine. Let your life seep through. All things are possible. 
when you have your head on right, when you're in the right direction, and you're truly, truly focused. Don't let no one get in your mind and make you think that you're undeserving. Don't let nobody get in your mind and make you think that you cannot accomplish your next goal. Don't let nobody get in your mind and shout out your dreams. They're yours. They're not theirs. Those are your goals. They're not theirs. Those are your dreams. They're not theirs. Don't have no one come into your mental space rent-free and F all that up that you worked so hard to build and condition yourself to become. That's worthy. That's a victory in that. Don't let people come snatch that away from you because it ain't theirs to snatch. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Love on yourself, love on to others, and stay true. That's all the time I have. Again, this is my motivational video for Sunday, and thanks for talking with Ken J.